Hey, good morning. My name is Vipin Kumar, and I'm starting a new series on Alk Stack. This is a first part of the series. In this video, we are going to install and configure Elasticsearch. Installing the head plugins for the Elasticsearch. Uh, so uh, basically, Alk platform is a complete log analysis solution built on a combination of three open source tool Elasticsearch, Logstack and Kibana. Elk utilize the open source stack of the Elasticsearch for the deep search and data analysis, Logstack for the centralized logging management system which includes shipping and forwarding the logs from the multiple server to the Elasticsearch and the Kibana is powerful and beautiful data visualization tool. So uh, this is a Elk data pipeline so we can understand here we for example we have three app server and log stack uh, you know is shipping uh, shipping the logs to the logs indexer uh, and uh, uh, logs indexer sending the data to the elastic search and elastic search sending data to the kibana for the virtualization so who have the experience on the splunk splunk has the same uh, same kind of the architecture the Splunk has a you know Splunk forwarder Splunk indexer and Splunk uh, master console so uh, uh, if we compare the Splunk and uh, Elk uh, both environment or both product has similar you know uh, similar architecture and capabilities uh, where uh, the the Elk uh, is a open source and free tool where has Splunk is a you know uh, license or product uh, license or paid tool so in this uh, tutorial in this uh, part of the series we are going to install the elastic search on the centos machine so let's do it so uh, uh, we required uh, the elastic search required a uh, java uh, JDK on the machine. I am using the open JDK, but you can use uh, Sun uh, Java or uh, Java from the Oracle. Uh, for the simplicity, I am using the open JDK. So I am starting the uh, I am start uh, installing the JDK on this machine. This is my machine for the Elk Master, and I am using a single cluster machine for the Elk demonstration. But you can uh, but you can uh, if this is for the demo perspective if you want to implement uh, similar architecture on the production environment uh, you have to set up the uh, elk uh, in the uh, cluster environment so i am going to install the uh, open jdk Okay, JDK has been installed and configured. We can verify by using the command Java version command and we can verify the uh, Java installation. Okay, JDK has been installed on this machine. Next step is uh, like I am going to install the package called wget on the machine. Okay, now I am going to download the uh, Elastic uh, Search RPM package. Uh, I am using the current uh, or updated version 6.2.4. G uh, 6. 6. You can go ahead and search the latest update uh, version on their website and you can download the latest RPM from their machine uh, from their website. I am just uh, 
going to use 6.2.4 version so i am going to download it in my opt location it is getting downloaded from there okay so rpm has been downloaded for the elastic search so i am going to you know unpack the rpm by using this command it it done now i am going to enable the elastic service so that uh, it can be available on every reboot of the machine so uh, this steps is enabling the elastic search service and now uh, we can try to start the service we can try to start the elastic search uh, uh, service so this is a command uh, okay we can verify by using the step okay it is running so at this point uh, the elastic service has been installed and running with the default uh, value uh, we can modify the default value by using the by using some of the parameters but before going that level uh, i'm going to discuss like i'm going to discuss very quickly uh, the the configuration files for the elastic search so this is the elastic home directory uh, if you are on the ubuntu machine this is a location but i am on the centos so this is a location for the uh, for the elastic search home directory uh, this is the elastic search and uh, jar files this is a uh, default location uh, on the centos machine uh, content plugins uh, the the elastic search uh, uh, is uh, you know is uh, like i can say uh, there are multiple or thousand of the plugins available for the elastic search uh, uh, product and uh, uh, you know elastic search uh, uh, service uh, used to store uh, plugins on this location so if you download any plugins on your elastic search all the plugins are going to be stored on this location so this location of the binary script so this is a location where you can find a binary script uh, uh, for the elastic search uh, uh, service start and stop and uh, uh, you know uh, some of the script uh, uh, to downloading uh, to downloading the plugins and uh, you know etc and uh, these are location for the elastic search configuration file so this is a configuration file location and elasticsearch.yaml and login.yaml file are more popular uh, configuration file you can find both the configuration file on that location etc elasticsearch and uh, contains the data uh, contains the data files of the index and shared are located on the location this is a default location but uh, you can change this location uh, you can you know you can mount uh, uh, this location uh, to the next storage or a separate uh, you know mount location because uh, it is going to be store all the index file and uh, search uh, you know search data on there and uh, these are startup uh, script for the elastic search and this is this is the log file of the elastic search so you can change it or you can leave it uh, it it is going to be uh, store all the logs on this location so as we discuss uh, you know <coughs> we are going to change a uh, couple of the uh, configuration setting in the elasticsearch.yml file as we discussed this is a uh, you know file located under etc elastic search so in this file we are going to change cluster name node name and path of data and uh, network host on which ip address it is going to bind it so let's do it
so first you know go ahead and open this file in your favorite uh, uh, text editor i'm using a default text editor vi okay so as uh, i mentioned i'm going to change uh, the cluster name parameters Elk master you can use any any of the name Then I'm going to change the node name. Okay. Then I'm going to change uh, data path. I'm going to keep my data in the OPT data elastic search location. I am not changing the path for the logs. I am going to keep all the logs in the word folder. Next, I am going to change network host. This is a binding of uh, Elasticsearch. one okay so uh, okay I am done with the changes in this file but uh, this is very important file uh, when you are going to set up a cluster environment uh, you have to modify a couple of the setting uh, in this file to add new nodes into the elastic search cluster so i'm going to save it and exit i just save it and now next step is um, you know i have to create uh, the location uh, for the uh, for the data elastic search And now I have to assign the permission. So uh, when you install the Elastic Search, uh, Elastic, uh, you know, Elastic uh, Search uh, by using the RPM, uh, the Elastic Search uh, 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 install a Elastic Search username uh, and run all the Elastic Search service under this account. So by default, uh, this user account doesn't have the permission on newly created data location so let's uh, let's assign the uh, right uh, uh, permission to this account on the you know on the data uh, uh, data location so it is most important part if you are not assigning the right permission on the data uh, data path or log path uh, your uh, elastic service is not going to be start it is going to be give the error called permission error so i am going to assign the right permissions on this folder for this account okay permission has been assigned now I have to start service 
I have to restart the service. So first, let's try to stop and uh, let's see status. It is down. Let's start. Let's see status. Okay. At this moment, uh, uh, service has been installed. Uh, service has been uh, started with the new uh, with the new parameters. So uh, so let's verify to access the uh, Elastic Search uh, service uh, on the browser. Okay. So default uh, uh, default port is uh, 9200 and we can access the uh, elastic search service on the browser or http uh, on the port 9200 so i'm going to access this service on my local browser to confirm that everything is okay okay I can confirm that uh, elastic service is running with my uh, value like I can you can see here the cluster name name of the node and it is uh, uh, it is it is successfully installed and uh, running on the machine uh, so next step is uh, we are going to be <coughs> we are going to be uh, install a head plugins for the elastic search the head plugins is a web front for the Elasticsearch cluster that is very easy to use. This plugins offer offers various features such as showing the graphical representation of the shared cluster state, easy query creation, and downloading query based data in the CBC format. So, uh, uh, so we are going to install it, but before installing it. Uh, we have to add couple of the settings in the Elasticsearch XML file. Let's do it. So we need to add uh, two lines. You can add uh, two lines anywhere in the file. I'm adding here now you need to restart the service so I'm going to stop then start status then start then status Okay, service is running fine now. So now, uh, now uh, for this uh, plugins has a requirement of N npm, you know uh, npm. So now we are going to install the npm and Node.js on this machine. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's install the Node.js. With the Node.js, npm by default going to be installed. Okay. Node.js and npm already uh, has been installed. We can verify it is done. Now we have to install the Git. And then we need to clone the um, repository for the Elasticsearch.
kit installation done. Next one is let's clone the elastic search repository. It's done. Let's go inside of the directory. Okay, and now let's install npm installed. npm install. Okay, so now uh, let's start the NPM. Okay, so it has been installed. Uh, it has been started. Now you can access the. Um, you can access the. You can ac access the Elasticsearch ad on your browser by using the uh, uh, URL uh, with the port. So I'm trying to access uh, on my local machine and I'm using this uh, location and port number and you can see I'm able to access uh, uh, access the Elasticsearch ad and now if you give the uh, you know if you give the Elasticsearch uh, cluster name here uh, and connect it you can see here cluster help green zero of zero so for example if you are running the elastic uh, elastic master on the cluster environment uh, you can you know you can give the name of your cluster here and connect it it can connect um, you know it can connect your uh, elastic search master and provide the state about your cluster for example you can see here it is connected node 1 where my cluster uh, my you know uh, elastic search uh, is uh, elastic search service is running so you can see uh, value here name transport address host and uh, you know it it has so many information that is going to useful uh, when you are you know when you are working on the production environment it is going to monitor about uh, it is going to monitor your elastic search cluster and uh, you know uh, node state you can see the state of the node uh, you know how many indexing are how how much you made index on this machine what is the position of the index what is the health check of the index so on and uh, you can see here you know you can create uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you know you can run a structure query or you can you know you can run any query against on your index data so uh, uh, in now in coming classes you know in coming classes we are going to uh, you know we are in the coming classes we are going to download uh, sample uh, sample data and uh, uh, sample data for for the demonstrate uh, demonstration uh, perspective and we are going to make uh, you know indexer uh, indexing on this data and uh, after having an index on our elastic search uh, machine you will see the indexing information uh, over here and you can run the query directly on the index uh, you know uh, uh, without uh, you know without uh, you know uh, without having a kibana so uh, it is going to uh, this tool is going to be useful uh, you know uh, or going to be help a lot uh, for the elastic search uh, you know uh, elastic search data so uh, it is going to provide uh, help in in terms of the indexing in terms of the uh, query writing in terms of the downloading data in csv format uh, and uh, health check of your elastic uh, cluster and many more so uh, 
you don't require to install this tool on the same machine you can install the uh, you can install uh, this tool this tool on the uh, stand alone server and you can run npm over there uh, this tool doesn't require uh, 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 physical access or uh, physical access on the uh, elastic search directory it is just required uh, you know a uh, url or api uh, api information like this and uh, <clears throat> by using this api it is going to connect your cluster and provide the uh, uh, provide the required information about your elastic search cluster so uh, in coming uh, so <clears throat> that's all uh, in this class in coming class we are going to install the log stack and kibana and we are going to be play around uh, with the real data and uh, we are going to demonstrate completely uh, like has a live environment uh, you can you can try to add couple of the nodes as a cluster but for now that's all thank you very much have a nice day see you next class bye